Hey guys, so I just made in my first uh, build here, my fucker. Um, it went really well. I wanted to show you kind of how I have my throw set up and everything so that you can uh, make the same for your main flight. I, I had it set pretty low for the ailerons. Um, just, I didn't know how it was going to respond. So um, for the amount of throw, my radio, it's 50. But if you want to take a look here, um, it would be about, there's my down deflection and there's my up. I'll do some measuring um, to get some specifics um, so you can measure it. But a tail, I had full uh, elevator just to see if it would be enough. I might have to increase in the plates. Um, it was it was decent. This plane definitely isn't supposed to be a crazy acrobatic plane. So it had enough um, at full, um, down and up. But I think I might increase it just so if, if, if you want to make it a little more responsive you can it, it definitely didn't care uh, it didn't respond bad or anything when I gave it full, full elevator um, it, it, it took uh, took his line really well El uh, the rudder um, I did not give it a whole bunch on maiden um, and it it was a little anemic I would say I think that might need to be bumped up a bit the control surface is fine in terms of size but it didn't didn't respond too well to the rudder, so I'm, I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. I didn't uh, increase it yet, but that, that will be the next thing I try. Um, in terms of the flight itself, it flew really well. It was very stable. Um, it didn't have any any uh, stall tendencies. In the video, I uh, I did full elevator and no throttle, and it, it didn't uh, didn't drop a wing or anything. It just kind of started to sink. I might have a little bit nose heavy right now. I put the CG. Um, right about here for my, my first flight just because I, I figured nose heavy would be better. The original plans I referenced had it a little further back but I was was uncomfortable with that. Um, it, it, it probably could go a little for, uh, forward. The three cell that I'm running um, is sitting right about here in terms of its position. Uh, let me pull it out. Give you an idea of placement. Um, the battery it sits uh, almost at the wing. So if you're running the, the battery underneath, you should be able to place it in here still. Or sorry, un underneath if you want. Uh, I don't think you're, it's going to be required to put it inside, but it definitely fits um, fits nicely. Um, this motor is equivalent, uh, or roughly equivalent to to what you would have it with a B4. Uh, a uh, Park 425. It, it flew well. I did full throttle a few times. It didn't. Uh, it didn't fly super fast, but it it, it responded pretty good to the extra speed. Um, nice level flight all around. The uh, inverted uh, was pretty good. I didn't have any issues with it. Um, turning over and, and holding it was was fine. Uh, I have my receiver placed up in the cockpit. You don't need to do that. I don't like to put it in in here just because it gets mingled around and stuff. So this. If you, if you do it like this, I think I might add a piece of paper or a cardboard here, or sorry, a poster board to cover so you don't see it. it might make it look a little nicer. But yeah, overall, I think uh, any changes that might be made that I'm going to look at is, is possibly making the aileron maybe a little bit, uh, the surface a little bit wider. Um, in certain turns, it it would lose uh, control with uh, uh, with the tipping because. It's not, it's, not, it's not quite big enough, I think, or the surface isn't moving enough, or the air, sorry, air is not moving over the surface enough. I'm not sure. I, I didn't have any issues. I didn't get any trouble, but it might be something to look at. Uh, I'll play around with it, but overall, I think this is going to be the final design. Um, I don't have any complaints with it. I think I've worked out most of the design bugs in terms of the build, and it flies great. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this, and if you build one of these, let me know.